Welcome to the Arts Electronica Garden Barcelona, with the Canodrome venue. Here we have an exhibition that is composed by two parts. One part from the open call that we did with the Institut Ramon Llull, Universidad Oberta de Catalunya, EANGAR and the New Art Foundation. In the other part, we have the last production from the New Art Foundation, the big collection, that is a fantastic work from Stefan Tiefengraber. My work is a kinetic audio and video installation. It's a plasma screen that is pulled up with a cable winch and then can be released by the operator. Then it's sliding down on the wall. And it's like a pendulum. The friction on the wall is sonified and also the video is generated by the sound. And a classic artwork, Ego Spanglis, from Anthony Abad. It is a generative animation in which a swarm of flies form with their bodies the Spanglish version of some egocentric mantra. Me and me and me. The Arts Electronica Garden Barcelona show is an exhibition that starts in the middle of a long-term sedimentation process. We have here a result of a collective open call between different art centers, universities, scientific centers, technological centers, and citizen laboratories. In Ars Electronica Garden exhibition, I presented a piece called Neuron Action, which is a parametric light sculpture that you can play with your mind. First, you have to wear a sensor called Next Mind. So they will be inside this sculpture, which is an inspiration of a neuronal network and allow you to play with your mind. For the Ars Electronica Garden, I am presenting an installation, Do Bodies Dream of Electromagnetic Organs? It's about cyborg and how we relate with this work. And it's a reflection about the relationship between biomedical devices implanted in the body and movement. The idea within the open call was actually to create not only a production process but also a research process. That's why some of the pieces are not still finished. In this exhibition I show MMM fluorescent Markov beat that is part of a series Metamusic Machines and for the residency I will develop a second branch. The basic idea behind is to build a series of machines, getting music from humans, from different areas and from different times, and try to build some kind of bastard algorithmical model. In this exhibition, we are presenting a first result of our project Camera Obscura of Ideology. It is a video installation. In the video, you hear a voice that reads all the labels associated to the word person. Black woman, contestant, player. This is our second year cooperating with Ars Electronica. The curatorial theme of being corporeal again is based in two concepts, the hybridity and in connection with New European House, sustainability, togetherness and inclusion. The show is based in our immense international residences the main piece, Olea by Soliman Lopez, is uh, connecting very well with the thematic of hybridity between the digital and the natural. Olea is a hybrid uh, project that is mixing different realities. It's based in the creation of a new cryptocurrency named Olea. And then uh, we have put the code of this cryptocurrency into DNA. And then we put this DNA synthesized into olive oil. And we have also connected with another project that is from an Iranian artist, Mohsen Harzati, that is his reflection about the perception of wine and is an augmented reality experience. We have other installations that are searching, creating more human cities. Theater of Inconvenience is a virtual reality experience that explores storytelling through stitching together the seams of the urban fabric of Barcelona. And also being aware that we are producing a big impact in our planet. This is the example of Tesserais that is talking about the melting of the ice in our poles. 
The project is called Tesser Eyes, and it's a four-dimensional virtual reality exploration of issues of climate change. The concept has been a very collaborative growth process of bringing together our ideas and our skills. And finally, we have an installation that is connecting four cities, Barcelona, Milan, Linz, and Rotterdam. This is Oxytocina Machina, a hybrid VR installation that connects four strangers from Barcelona, Linz, Rotterdam, and Milano through virtual reality for Ars Electronica. <laughs>